Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech. We specialize in HVAC, but do everything DIY. And today we're working on an air compressor. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. And as you can see over here, it says problem, pressure, zero PSI. So we're not getting any air pressure. It says motor cool down, but it's disabled. We'll go into the settings. Alarm history. Maintenance required, motor cool down. So this thing overheated and we have zero PSI. Gonna go to home, settings. I tried turning off the power and on, it doesn't work. Gonna go into service. Service resets, okay. I'm gonna say that the maintenance was performed. Maintenance performed. Let's, let's run this thing. I clicked force run. It's not doing anything. This thing isn't hot or anything. Supposedly there was some kind of leak. Clicking to run the motor, it doesn't do anything. Home. It says the voltage, we have 214 volts. And the temperature is 76 degrees, that's good. Okay, motor cooldown but disabled. Okay, it says re-enable motor. Confirm. Woo! Now that's what I'm talking about. Let's get this going. We're building pressure, 3 PSI, 4 PSI. Let's see what's going on. All right, so we're building pressure. We have 42 pounds. Just running my fingers across anywhere there could be some air leaks. Goes into here. What is this tape job? Some kind of filter. So I'm just gonna take a look to see from see if there's any leaks, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this build pressure to wherever it's set to and see if it holds. All right, so we reach pressure, 110. Oh, slowly losing it, 109. The maintenance worker was here. He said there was some kind of leak by the filter and there's some tape over there. So I'm gonna take that off and double check that connection. Yeah, okay, we're losing pressure, 105 now. All right, so I cut back the tape. Put a little soap and bubbles, you can see the bubbles. So we're leaking from right here at this, at this flare. Right there. Let's put some soap and bubbles right there, you can see that connection's leaking. Alright, let's go fix that up. Alright, so I'm gonna shut this thing down. And let's bleed out this pressure, pulling this. Excuse the noise, got this little fan here. You can see the whole compression, not just back spinning. There might still be a little pressure in here. This whole fitting is just loose. This actually looks like a horrible flare. I think I could just redo the flare, to be honest. This piece of pipe. You know what? I'm gonna put some Teflon on this, on this thing and just tighten it down. And let's see what that does. I have a feeling it's leaking from the back. But let's try to tighten this down. Got a little Teflon on here. I mean, this thing is literally held up by tape and rope. It's high wrap, like, come on. I can see 
see the ring for this uh, fitting just spinning with me. That's why I don't think this is gonna work. I'm gonna have to replace that, but of course I'm gonna try this first. So let's start this thing and check for leaks. Let's build up the pressure. All right, we're still leaking. I gotta redo this connection. This thing is completely bad. As I'm spinning the nut, the compression fitting is spinning. I can see that it's messed up. So I'm gonna redo that part of the piping and we're gonna be out of here. For now, I'm gonna shut this down and bleed out the air. All right, so luckily this is flexible. I'm get rid of all this tape, this rope. This is just ridiculous. I'm gonna cut this pipe, redo the fitting, and then resupport this whole thing. This just looks terrible. But we're gonna do a good job here. So, start by cutting this out. All right, so I cut the pipe. And I'm gonna take this with me. So this one needs to be rebuilt, this little area. All right, so I'm gonna solder a male pipe adapter, screw it on, and cut the pipe somewhere else so I can put a coupling so I can solder it without melting the Teflon on that male pipe adapter. Let's, let's just start by getting rid of all this tape, kneading this up, and you know, you need a clamp to support it through here, but for now, I'm just gonna use some tie wraps. So let's get this prepped up, and we're gonna be soldering on that connection and also waiting for the smoke alarms to shut off. You always wanna shut off your smoke alarms. This should make this look a little bit better. All right, so that's a nice fitting. Now I'm gonna cut the pipe just enough so I can spin it. So somewhere around here. Make my threaded connections and then solder my last connection and we're out of here. So I got Teflon on this fitting and Teflon on this one. Cut back the pipe and prepped it. So we're gonna start by spinning this on. Getting this tight. Spin this on at the same time. So now this is nice and tight. And the idea is here is put on this coupling. Solder this side. And check for leaks. All right. Use a, you should use a wet rag to just cool this joint, but you should be fine. I actually soldered a fitting like this right out of male pipe adapter with the Teflon on it before, and I didn't burn it. But you gotta be super quick with it. Right now, let's just get, get, finish this last spinning and check for leaks. looks way better. No more million tapes and everything. Got a nice connection here. Alright, let's turn on the machine and check the leaks. Alrighty, we are now full. There's no leaks here. Everything looks nice and neat. Much better job. And this thing is super annoying. All right. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.